Good morning. It is Thursday. It has been a crazy week this week. Just so you all know, I, after my last vlog and my little breakdown, I have done nothing to help myself. In fact, I actually think my schedule may have just got worse. So we will be rectifying that today. Like today is my last day of like people being like, can you jump on a call? No, after today, no, I cannot. No more last minute yeses because I need to actually get some things done in my life. Like wash my hair, I just need to wash my hair. So this week, <laughs> this week has been wild. I went to London on Sunday night which feels so wrong. Does that feel wrong to anybody else? Like for me, leaving the house on a Sunday night to travel feels wrong. Especially like to travel solo just feels so wrong to me. I went to London and stayed overnight because I was actually going to Paris bright and early. And when I say bright and early, I mean like before the sun was up on Monday morning. I think the sun was just about up. I went to Paris to speak at Google HQ in France and I was talking to the L'Oreal Global Group about YouTube and just like why, why I think it's great. Honestly, I could write a dissertation on YouTube and like the development of it over 10 years and just the ins and outs and I know a lot. It's one of the few things that I will confidently say I know a lot about. So it actually wasn't as nerve wracking as speaking to strangers in groups would normally be for me because normally I just would not but this is probably the only thing on this earth apart from maybe like talking about Ariana Grande or Emily in Paris that I feel like I could speak confidently about publicly. Give me a microphone and an empty room and I can chat for hours but people, mm. Not so much. But it was really nice. Everyone was so nice. And it was it was great. I mean, I was having a panic attack whilst I was speaking. So just know, <laughs> honestly, there are so many situations. Just know that when these photos for Clay Poe were taken and during the footage that you will probably see shortly of me in Paris, just know I it's like a duck on water. But my brain <laughs> during this talk was just basically going, I'm not okay, I need to leave this room. I'm not okay, I need to leave this room. Like my heart was racing and I just wanted to get up and run. Like that's my instinct is to like leave a situation. Most commonly it's leave, sometimes it's freeze. Like there are, you have fight, flight, freeze or faint. Sometimes I would go towards faint as well, which is why I panic extra hard when I'm speaking. Cause I'm like, oh my God, please do not let me pass out. But quite commonly like the instinct is to run or sometimes I freeze and I just have like severe brain fog. Luckily, that didn't happen. Oh my God, thank God. It would have been very embarrassing for me. Like my whole job is based on speaking and has happened in the past. So that's not a fear that it's based on like a fantasy or fiction. That is, that could happen. You might be asking why I do this to myself. And honestly, I ask myself the same thing all the time, despite having <laughs> what I would say is quite life affecting anxiety i almost refuse to let it i kind of tried to not let it affect my life by continuing and just saying yes to things but the catch 22 of that is that i think it actually makes my anxiety a lot worse but we just work through it because i have the tools to work through it and everything is always fine but yeah it's, that was a lot and then I woke up shock horror oh we also went for a meeting before that so I my social battery gone gone we went to meet the Cezanne team in France they gifted me some really nice pieces I'll show you in the next video probably because I don't know I don't know how long this video is going to be with all of the random footage that I have we can flash back actually let's flash back to France now <laughs> up yet. I need more time to defrost, yeah. Let's go to Paris. My god, that is a long queue. Wow. I'm in Paris. So I am here today to speak on a panel with L'Oreal and YouTube, but I'm actually taking a little trip to the Cezanne store first, which is 
right here. So I have a little meeting here and we're about to head in. I am so excited. You guys will know I've been loving Suzanne recently. So I'm really excited to see their Paris apartment showroom. It's gonna be so nice. Oh my God, can we just take a moment? Mm. Sorry, be right back. Recharging my batteries. How nice is sun? Rosie's here. This is Rosie. Cutest nice. woman alive. She has the best outfit on today. I'm really jealous. I had to look like slightly corporate baddie, so she's in all brown and a leather trench. But I might, I may change. I bought three outfits. This is nervous. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh my god, you guys, not the wall of knits. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, that's amazing. And you have some um, vintage projects. No way. This part is uh, vintage and wow. designed by uh, Morgan. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love all the plates. That's stunning. Oh my god, you guys, look at all of these plates and bowls. How unreal. And these candles. <laughs> vegetable candles i am obsessed do i need to take some home for ryan i think so also in love with these plates i feel like i need these for my tablescapes in the summer they're amazing we're trying to figure out how to get behind the rainbow gates <laughs> i turned up and i was like it's giving google she launched her youtube channel back in 2011 oh, i want to yeah. see the house <laughs> <laughs> And she originally made beauty videos. When you were talking about the things that mm -hmm. people like in addition, I was like, well, that is actually so accurate. I feel, feel like I've been on my audience are into booking flights, home interiors, mm -hmm. and probably things with as well. So I started when I was 19. I did that for about two years, just using my laptop, my camera, my laptop. Won a few awards, it really boosted my profile. Nice. I'm exhausted. My eyes are so tired. I need to get these contacts out. I feel like my eyes are actually bugging out. I've been, I've had contacts in since 5 a.m. I have raging anxiety. I can't lie. <laughs> there are some points where Rosie was filming where I was like, the room is spinning. What's new there? Cause that's what my anxiety has been like for about four weeks now. But I made it through the panel. My first, it wasn't really a panel, was it? It was very in depth, one-on-one, -on -one, just me. Everyone's staring at me. I think for someone that was more of an attention seeker, I'd like it more, but apparently not. Smashed yeah. It. <laughs> Thanks. Smash it so much they have asked if I will potentially come back on Good Friday, so TBC. Which I'm really excited about because we haven't actually, my panel overran, so I really wanted to go to Sephora, I really wanted to go to the pharmacy. Have I done either of those things? No. So I'm hoping that they do have me back on the 29th because... Just to go to Sephora. Just to go to Sephora. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that. No, it was really fun. And I feel like I just love nerding out about YouTube. So actually, I don't know why I get so nervous because literally talking about the thing that I actually, the one thing I think I could write a dissertation about is YouTube. So it went well, but um, sadly no Sephora haul for any of us. Anyway, we need to now get to Garden of Fast because it overran and our train is in like 20 minutes. So keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Love you, bye. So yeah, very fun. We met the Suzanne team, which I don't know if you will have seen the store in those flashbacks, but I don't think I showed you like the bags that they, the bags they package things up in are stunning. And we were carrying all of these bags around. And honestly, I have never felt cool when I'm in France. I mean, I know to say the word cool is just like so not cool, but I've never felt like I have the approval of French women until this moment when I'm carrying Suzanne bags around France and literally everyone is like, Suzanne, oh la la. I'm like, oh my God, I am I cool? This is amazing. Like it's the, probably the only time I, I really felt accepted. It was really nice. I was like, oh my God, am I a chic French woman? No, wait, no. Cause actually if I put these bags down, I'm back to being me, it's just the bags. <laughs> but the store was stunning. So stunning. If you get a chance to go, I mean the queues, the queues are long. That was crazy coming out of the store and seeing the queues. I actually should have vlogged, but actually I've don't like blogging straight just so anyway but if you get a chance to go go they they do the most incredible like homeware there especially at the moment their new collection is like around based around italy it's the most beautiful collection like my wish list from that collection has been long but they also in store to kind of celebrate that and tie in they have all of these really beautiful homeware pieces like plates that are it's very italian vibes it's very like if you go to the big mama restaurant group in london and you go to like carlotta or jacuzzi or where did i go the other day 
Gloria's, they do all of those kind of like plates in there at the moment, or all of these like vegetable candles. I really regret not bringing a couple of them home for Ryan because there was some lemon ones I thought was so amazing. That would have been so nice for like a summer tablescape situation and you all know how obsessed I am with my tablescapes at the moment. Like I want a whole cupboard built just for collecting fun plates now. Ryan is like, Jokes on him, he's marrying me. I just had the best time, it was great. The store is stunning, you have to go if you go to France and you're a Cezanne fan, like it's just honestly the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Like if I die and I go to heaven, I hope that it, heaven looks like a Cezanne store. So yeah, that was great. It was such a fun day, but yeah, social battery at zero and shock horror. I woke up the next morning with a raging migraine, like migraine sickness, like the whole very bad migraine shebang. And I was like flat out. For most of the day I had a couple of calls to jump on too so I literally just had my camera off and I was like guys I am here but I'm not okay so you do not need to like see me visually but just know I'm, I'm here and I'm smiling at you all and then yesterday I went to London I had a couple of meetings we went and saw the new half penny collection which has just come out and it's stunning I actually had the chance to preview a few bits back in November I actually don't know if we have footage because we weren't allowed to vlog these things so I don't know if I actually did vlog them or if we just have photos but some gorgeous 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 dresses in that collection I actually didn't go with any of those for my wedding dress so we can kind of show you maybe some sneak peeks and then I had a lunch meeting I mean my tinted moisturizer is definitely buffed in right now isn't it yeah had a lunch meeting and then I was out of there I actually can't believe that it's only Thursday it, honestly I it feels like a Saturday like I feel like I'm, I should be done oh and I also had a meeting with the Aurelia team which I have some footage from but I'm not sure how much we can share from that because secrets I will I have a call with them today so we will we will update you on the secrets I have so many secrets right now I'm like what ones can I leak can someone tell me what I can leak. I have not got confirmation that I can leak anything. But let's chat later. Because I'm feeling like leaking something anyway. I'm sure they won't mind. Just me getting myself into trouble. As per. So social battery is at zero. But it's really hard because these things are so fun. And there's such amazing opportunities. That I'm like how? I can't say no. So that is how. If you're wondering how I get myself into these states. This is. That's why. Because it's. I can't say no. But now I am trying to get this makeup on ASAP because I want to film a little hair tutorial. But I also need to get my errands done before I have this call that I need to jump on. So I need to do this quite quickly, but I also couldn't resist catching up with you. So we are doing the, our best multitasking right now. Honestly, I forgot how useful it is using black eyeshadow as your eyeliner. I've been trying to do proper eyeliner all this week and now I'm really questioning my life choices because this is so much easier. Like you make a mistake, it's fine. You just rub it away. Stunning. All right. We are trying a new mascara today. Pray for me. Wow. pretty good okay really like this brush <laughs> it's not really giving on my bad eye <laughs> it's not great okay maybe we try something else you just can't be it uh, I'm never going to find another mascara better than this, I just love it. Lip combo of the day is Icon Baby by Charlotte Tilbury and then I'm going to go over it with the Kylie Lip Oil in Watermelon. This smells so good. So nice. Such a nice like nude pinky combo for going into spring. Love it. So we had enough time to do the hair tutorial if you want to watch this. It will either be on my TikTok and I will put it on shorts as well. Maybe on Instagram too. I feel like you guys like the hair content on Instagram. So keep an eye out. This is literally all done with one hairband. One hairband. It's the perfect like greasy hair day hairstyle. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. But then I've just got my monkey jacket on and then this really old pair of like ribbed knitted trousers i think these were from top shop r.o.p the golden years these were a phenomenal purchase on my part and then the platform uggs because of all the shoes in the world that i could pick to hyper fixate on i have picked 
Oh, they're just so comfy. Anyway, and they also really help because these trousers are way too long. So they give me a few extra inches so my shoes don't drag on the ground. That's the main reason for wearing them today. I actually put my sambas on that are on the shelf there. They look really cute, but I just know that the ground is wet and then my trousers are going to be gross. So Uggs it is. Anyway, let's go do the errands. This song is a bop. What happened to this song? I've just realized it's taken me three years of having this car. I've just realized the perfect position to have you guys in when I am driving. Wow. Anyway, does anyone else have it where the second you get in a car and go for a drive on your own, your anxiety just like fully eases because oh, there's something that I don't know if it's because if you've been driving for a long time and you're not a super anxious driver, you kind of go into autopilot and therefore you're not thinking about other things. I just feel so relaxed and zen when I get in the car and there's like just me and my tunes and no one's distracting me. I'm not looking at my phone. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's I'm not looking at my phone. Nothing makes me happier than going for a drive, especially going for like a short drive. And you're like, you know when you're doing your errands and you're just like, yeah, I know the route. I know, yeah, I just love it. Anyway, let's go. I've gotten fully sidetracked. worst angle I have ever vlogged from. Remember me as I was earlier, not under my chin. This is insane. All I needed was coffee beans. It's a cabbage. It's a cabbage bowl. Do I get a matching cabbage bowl to the daisies? Or do I just get little cabbages to go on top of the daisies? The little ones look so cute but there's only three of them, that's annoying. So I spent way too long looking at plates and now I have like 15 minutes to finish the rest of my errands before this call. So if you could all just keep me, oh, this is gonna be bumpy. Oh, oh God, the plates, the plates. If you could all just keep me in your thoughts. Does anyone's car ever beep and you're like, I, I'm not near anything. No, don't you start having a go at me. to know we can't go around tight turnings i made it for my call with three minutes to spare my coat is still on oh there so, we go we have sound hi is that a lovely selection of nail nail polishes behind you it is vital vital info guys i'm obsessed i am obsessed with these if i can find these online i will link them in the info box for you guys but <laughs> i'm so excited to host my easter brunch this year it's gonna be so cute. Also, I'm just gonna use these all the time. They just make me so happy. Got these cute little green candles as well. I love them. You lost me there for a bit. I ended up on another call, but my green chef order has arrived, which I'm so relieved about. Ryan just asked me what to expect for dinner after football tonight, and I did not have an answer for him. I did not think about that, so. Green Chef, saving my life. By the way, you are about to watch a paid for integrated advertorial with Green Chef. There is gonna be a code. I hope you enjoy that code. So with Green Chef, you get pre-portioned ingredients for the exact recipe you need with simple recipe cards, which I love because I don't want to think when I'm cooking in the evening, I have done, I've had enough thoughts for the day. I want someone telling me what to do, what to make, what I'm eating. And this stops me making the same pasta recipe every single night and the pre-portioned ingredients i love because then i don't end up with loads of leftover ingredients at the end of it i find the recipe cards are so much quicker as well so it actually leaves me more time for myself in the evening which is stunning i do not have a lot of free time at the moment between wedding planning and working and trying to maintain a family life social life be a good partner all of the above we talked about that in the previous vlog i don't have a lot of time for myself so every five minutes that i can get back right now is very much appreciated hopefully you will have seen on screen by now that green chef have given me a code which i'm very excited to share with you because i know we all love a code and this will get you it's susie 40 it will get you 40 percent off your first box and 25 percent off the next 
four boxes. The thing I love the most about Green Chef is that they do recipes for six different dietary preferences, including vegan, which is amazing because lots of you all know when I'm at home, I eat vegan. Ryan is very, very strictly vegan. And they not only cater for veggie, but they also cater for vegan, pesky, flexi, keto, low carb. Like, this is what I have been waiting for. I picked the, from the vegan menu, obviously, creamy tomato and chickpea curry. Let me show you. Mm -mm. Delicious. I don't know how you say this, chimichurri? That could be very wrong. Portobello mushrooms and pepper. Looks unreal. When I was choosing, I, you best bet I chose via the photos and this one looks unreal. And then it also picked the spicy smoked tofu noodle soup. Ryan is going to love this. Literally anything like this, he loves. I don't know if I'm in the mood for soup tonight though, because your girl gets hungry by the end of the day and she just wants carbs. I think we might go with this one. This one was the one I was most excited about. The other two I picked for Ryan because they're very much up his street and he gets really excited about cooking things he likes. So you see where I'm going with this. <laughs> I'll cook one, he can cook two. They also change their menus every week so I'm really excited to see what is next week. I feel like if you're trying to eat healthy as well and that's why you're doing this, it makes eating healthily more exciting than eating like the same meal prep every single day for months and months on end. Some people love that. And to be honest, like I do quite like eating the same thing very regularly. Ryan hates it when he's trying to eat healthy. He gets really bored really quick. So for him, this is ideal. So that has solved my dinner dilemma tonight. I can't lie, I'm very tired and very hungry. So I am going to get into my comfy clothes and we're gonna put our little chef hat on. We actually have a legit chef hat somewhere around here. I don't know where it is but that would be very fun right now. Go, ignore my plating up because I am a terrible chef and making food look good is not my speciality but I've already tried some and it tastes delicious good morning it's been a while I had the nicest weekend I took it completely off Saturday I actually I was up at dawn to go to London I got the 7.08 train I actually can't remember if I vlogged. I think I may have vlogged a little bit. I will insert that now. The sunglasses are giving. I'm not ready to speak yet today. I think I might be about to be arrested because it should be illegal to be up this early on a Saturday. But we are going to London because I am going to force my sister-in-law to pick a bridesmaid's dress today. So Halfpenny are going to be truly sick of me this week. They've already seen me for a call with another bridesmaid for an event and I'm back in today. No playing dress up for me today sadly but yeah we're gonna go to London and have a nice little morning. I am praying that my hair holds up, it's on its last legs. Can't lie, I feel slightly disheveled. Your girl is in need of some beauty TLC, some maintenance, whole shebang, but schedule is not scheduling, so here we are. Let's do this. Crack of dawn on a Saturday, stunning. Lucy is smarter than I am. She's doing her makeup on the train. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a whole set up here. What have we got? Oh yeah, look at my makeup <gasps> I was literally going to ask you, have you just put this on your skin? Yeah. Your skin looks really good. Oh, thanks. I was going to ask. Your recommendation. Yeah. I've got this out. It's the best. It's the best. This is new. Oh, I love, I love that one. I'm about that. Ooh, this is like, I, I, is... I have all of these things yeah. except this. I need to get this. This is literally all of my recommendations come from you. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Ooh, what is this? Is this rose ink? It looks like rose ink. So. Oh, mascara. Yeah. Ooh, oh, brow gel. This brush looks really nice. Yeah. And this one. My brushes are actually really dirty and gross. Uh, mate, I'm not even going to tell you when I'm I last cleaned mine. Don't even look at the sponge. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more sponges, I have loads of sponges. Oh, nice. um, oh, that is a great liner. Is that from me? Yeah, I think 
yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I never see anyone use that one. Oh, oh my god! That's a really broken Sweet baby! <laughs> Where is your lid? It doesn't fit, so I've got it in this chair. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. How is the inside of this bag not like littered it is with eyeliner? Disgusting, look at it. Oh my god. It is gross. What is this? Uh, yeah, a bit of bronzer. And then this has literally been this. going. Is that the Huda? Yeah. Huda Beauty? So, or? so I swapped to that. I used to use the Laura Mercier one. I remember yeah. I was like, I'm so shiny. And now I use this. Um, I that one is that. so Never. good for mattifying. That's looking a bit gross. A I'm nice bronzer really though. We like. we like. Yeah, this powder is the best. the best. I also have that. I like it with the little triangle sponge thing that you like put on your yeah. fingers and you like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so yeah. fun. Okay, I need to get this. Is there a Charlotte Tilbury anywhere near where we're going? I would so love it if there was because I feel like my shade is mm. so wrong right now. There must be. If we're doing a walk near Hyde Park, there must be one. I think so. Okay. I'm borrowing. Ooh. I didn't use mine. So this is the daffodil top, which Lucy is trying on today, but in the dress form. It's such a gorgeous off-shoulder, like really stretchy material. We also have the Cheryl, which she's trying on, and this is the skirt that would go with this. But like I said, she's trying on the dress version, which is going to be white when she comes out, just FYI. But the bridesmaids are not wearing white. We're just trying on for fit, not colour. So keep that in mind. Also, my eyebrows are huge today. What have I done? Honestly. Ooh, she's in a wedding dress again. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Do you think? Yeah, it's really gorgeous. I do really like it. Yeah. <laughs> I've already told them. Fit, not colour. It's gorgeous. I just love the top part. It's so flattering. It's gorgeous. Your boobs look great. I probably would strapless bra with that just for the lift. It will, once it's fitted, will Luce need a strapless bra? Because I feel like it... Not necessarily, yeah, it depends on how you feel. Not yeah. necessarily. Um, we can also put some cups in as well if you want okay. to. So we have lots of different types of cups that some will have that, that push-up um, yeah. pad in. Yeah. Some are just really thin. Okay. So yeah. Oh, I do really no, like it. No, it's gorge. <laughs> Cheers. As in, I can try <laughs> I think I gave up on that thinking that I had forgotten to vlog too much and that I wouldn't use the footage but there you go that is what I did on Saturday. We did a walk around Hyde Park after Lucy's dress fitting and we went to Blank Street Coffee, we got matches. Your girl is a matcha girly now. Who would have thought? Ryan literally asked me apparently a couple of months ago if I would consider switching from coffee to matcha and I was like oh, no but I had the nicest matcha at Blank Street. It was a white iced white chocolate matcha i believe that's what it is if you're a sweet lover like me like i love white chocolate it was really really nice and it's now converted me and i was actually doing my next like tablescape setup and planning all of that out at the weekend and i decided to actually get some matcha powder and use it as part of like the spring tablescape went out bought some matcha powder i am now fully converted to being a matcha girly in the morning it's probably the better choice for me considering i've never actually liked the taste of coffee i like all of the things that you add to coffee but the actual taste of coffee not for me no thank you like you will never be like i will never be one of those people drinking a black coffee you will not see me doing that so i feel like this is the start of the whole new era for me and i'm intrigued to see how i get on i actually don't get like the horrible buzzy jittery feeling from matcha or i don't I haven't so far so i'm really hoping that actually it's a better choice for me day to day and especially with my anxiety i'm really hoping that it actually helps i really like having caramel syrup in my matcha if you don't like the taste of matcha, I actually don't mind it. I really don't. It's actually not as bad as like a black coffee for me. I don't love it on its own, but actually this weekend taught me that adding the right kind of sweet taste in with your matcha 
complete game changer. So I tried vanilla syrup at the weekend, didn't love that, but I tried caramel syrup and really liked that. So that is my current go-to at home matcha situ and I'm really liking it. So that was the highlight of me, my weekend basically was that white chocolate matcha and the walk around Hyde Park was just so nice. It's just such a nice, I never do stuff like that in London. So it was just a really nice morning. And then yesterday, what did I do? I did my tablescape and I rotted the entire day. It was sensational. Oh, also whilst we were in London, I went to Charlotte Tilbury and I bought some bits. I fully took advantage of the fact that I had Lucy with me as well and she gets 20% off. So good. We love the NHS and their discount. I didn't realize that that was a thing. So I got some new foundations because basically I have this issue in that most of the foundations I have are starting to go off. <laughs> It's a real tragic situation. So I picked up a couple of new foundations. We've got the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I was watching Lucy put her foundation on, on the train and it looked so nice. And it was this one, so I decided to pick this up. I got the shade 5 Neutral, which looks like this. And then I also got a new Beautiful Skin Foundation because I did have this and I have no idea what happened to it. So we have another one. I don't know what I'm gonna wear today. Do I want full coverage or more of a glowy base? Mm. I might go for this and then I also picked up the Hollywood contour wand so this I got in the shade fair medium so it's more of a bronzer than a contour on me which I'm really happy about I'm not really into the contouring I more prefer bronzing and then I got the beautiful skin radiant concealer this concealer is so nice I already used this on Saturday evening before I went out to dinner went out to dinner with my parents as well that is also what I did on Saturday Saturday was actually quite busy get some makeup on my face i'm hoping this is glowy enough i'm finding my skin is just lacking the glow a lot at the moment the weather's still very cold my skin is just lacking a lot of like glow and luminosity so i really wanted like a super super glowy foundation even the beauty pie tinted moisturizer is just not really giving me the glowy look that i want so yeah this looks nice very glowy we like so i got shade six and it's such a good shade match very happy with that concealer so today i think it's going to be a full day of getting my shits together i am going back to paris on thursday thursday friday i think this week so i just really need to sort my life out a little bit today so not sure how fun that's going to be for any of us but that is what is going to be going on today i need to get myself out on a hot girl walk i need to do my pilates because if i'm going to be away we need to make sure exercise is a priority and i'm also working tomorrow night i'm doing a nail appointment so i just really need to be on top of my game at the moment and get really organized and if i'm lucky hopefully this week i'll get to record a podcast episode thank you so much to all of you for your advice on what to do and what to keep and what to drop i really appreciate it i think what i'm going to do is not drop the podcast fully but just when i have the time i will record new episodes but i feel like at the moment you guys were so right and trying to stick to it weekly is just maybe not the most doable with everything else but if i can record one this week then i definitely want to do that but thank you so much for all of your advice it was actually really good to hear as well from the other 2024 brides out there that or just past brides the way i am feeling is actually very very normal i really appreciate that because sometimes i think i'm so used to being told that i am very blessed and i don't have things to be stressed about that i kind of like gaslight myself into being like you have nothing to be stressed about when actually planning a wedding is really it's a lot so thank you for the validation i really appreciate that just realized my camera brightness has been turned up this whole time so that's good apologies if i looked like a ghost somebody needs a haircut and that somebody is this girl the ends be scraggly okay loving this foundation it's so nice and glowy i have put no highlighter on i do have the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand on my cheeks but you can just see in the overall look of my, my face does not normally look like this and i use the beauty light wand in pink gasm all the time very very happy with this foundation also i have armani 114 on my lips over the kylie balm it is so nice it's such a good combo so this is armani 114 it's a matte finish 
put over the balm. It's just such a nice creamy consistency. Please ignore today's outfit. I'm well aware that NASA can probably see me from space. I am in my Pilates outfit because this is the only way that you're gonna get me doing Pilates right now. As if I just am already in the outfit. So yeah, that is my after work activity of the day i am really trying to get back into working out i actually didn't work out at all last year like i would do my hot girl walks but i actually i can't think of a time when i did any form of gym workout pilates oh maybe like i did a couple of reformer things like literally that's that is it you will have seen the moments when i worked out yeah it's not it's not been great i've had the most shoulder problems and back problems and everything like that that i have ever had and i know it's because i have such poor body strength now compared to what i used to have but i still try and operate in the same way and lift the same things like when i'm moving furniture i just genuinely think i can move an ikea mound dresser on carpet no i can't that was probably the worst the biggest mistake so i am getting back on my workouts i now do i go to the gym and i do upper body with ryan just to not to build anything literally just for the strength um because i think it helps with your posture and it stops me getting like neck and shoulder pain so much i'm also doing shiatsu regularly just to try and kind of prevent and help with the knots the stress knots because they are real and then day to day at the moment it's like every other day i'm doing a pilates like mat workout at home i don't i just can't get on board with reformer regularly for the fact that it is so expensive and i also just feel like in big classes i'm obviously very used to it in the past having done pt in big classes i just don't think you get the level of attention that especially that i think i need in terms of like making sure my form is right i have like spine curvature so i really like to have someone like really paying attention to my body because sometimes from afar it looks like i'm doing the right thing and then you actually look closer up and i'm not like my form's not right so i find big classes quite difficult especially like when i'm i'm not at peak strength body strength right now so i just think there's more to go wrong in a class whereas if i'm kind of feeling a bit better in terms of my body strength I, and my form generally on a mat i think i would then feel more confident on a reformer if that makes sense so just trying to do pilates every other day i've just joined back up to the pilates class online classes i love i love back when i was actually doing pilates i'm really struggling with this when i was doing pilates a lot i was really really into the pilates class workouts so that is why i am in a full red set because i need to like not put off doing this little workout today we are also going away very soon we're actually going away a fair bit now like we're, we're entering that point of the year where it's just trips it's just trips and i'm so excited about it so actually what i'm unboxing right now is just gonna be one of the most insane things to have on said trip so i actually ordered these shoes off of vestia collective this is a pair of shoes that you will actually probably recognize because i've worn them before but they were not mine but they were probably my favorite shoe that i wore last summer and i actually think they work so well in my wardrobe and with everything i've got coming up this year i thought that they would work so beautifully in my wardrobe so i made this purchase of vestia but they actually it's a, a like a pre-loved company that exists outside of Vestia but they retail their stuff on there and on Instagram so it's called The Sourced House. Oh they're so cute. Dear Susie I hope you love your beautiful new Chanel sandals. They are stunning and thank you and best wishes. They're so cute. So cute. So yeah I just purchased from them. I didn't even know they had an Instagram. I just purchased from the Vestia page that they were on. They then DM'd me and then they were like if you want to avoid the Vestia fees then just get in touch via here and i was like oh amazing so i have a pair of chanel sandals that i bought pre-loved <laughs> i actually stole a pair of these last year from victoria's wardrobe i say steal i did not steal them she let me borrow them because i saw them and loved them and i found a very similar pair on bestia these ones are slightly different to victoria's hers have the cc in the middle to be honest i if i could have found 
if I could have found a high street dupe that just didn't have anything written at all, I would have taken it because I just love the overall style of the sandal. For me, it didn't have to be Chanel. It didn't have to have a CC. It didn't have to, I didn't really care what it had on it. I just loved this style of sandal. And I was actually really sad when I gave them back to Vic last summer, but also not sad because I was so worried about like marking hers that I really wanted to give them back, but I also really wanted to keep them because I love them. So now I have my own pair that I can ruin as much as I wish. Like I'm not worried at all. I got a size four and a half. I think they're gonna fit perfect. Hopefully they'll fit the same as Vicks, which fit perfectly. So fingers crossed that they've got this really cute little Perspex heel, Perspex top, lined with the beige leather trim and leather Chanel across the bridge. I was so happy to have them. They're, st they're honestly such a great shoe. I even, oh, look at them. I love that the little pulley bits at the back have a Chanel on them as well. So that is one of my new additions to my shoe wardrobe. I have a few new additions to my shoe wardrobe. I also have an ASOS order. I don't know if I'll unbox this in a different vlog because this is more summery, but I have ordered things for the trips. I might unbox that in the vlog that I film next week because we've got a fun trip next week. To be honest, I have so much to unbox with you. I think a haul is coming. I also got this pair of shoes and I'm so excited that they've arrived. They're so beautiful. This is very different from the previous shoe purchase that I just showed you. Look at these how stunning are these so they're a leather shoe with a satin bow well a half bow on the top i love i love bow shoes but they can be a bit impractical if the bow is too large and if you've got a pointed toe and they can like get caught in the bow so i think this half bow is amazing because when your feet are together it looks like a bow and when they're separate you're not you know you're not tripping yourself up we love we've got a beautiful heel that's kind of slimmer at the top then goes into a block gorgeous long pointed toes these also come down quite low on the foot which i personally love i just think it makes your foot look so slim and sexy and i didn't i've never thought that a foot could look sexy ever until i realized that when you have a low bit on the foot you get a little bit of toe cleavage it like just makes your feet look really slim it's just gorgeous these are so comfy as well and they've got adjustable sling back straps i actually tried these on back in december i got a sneak peek of some new charlotte mills launches i tried these on fell in love with them so they come in this beautiful blue box and this pair of shoes in particular look amazing with the asos dress like the little asymmetric mini which you will have seen if you watched my engagement dresses Haul. I will link to that if you haven't seen it. So it was a bit hit and miss, but there are some great recommendations if you are looking for an engagement dress. Just sadly, most of them came from my wardrobe already, but I show lots of things that I already owned. So go and give it a watch if you're in need for that kind of thing. But these go really, really well with the one ASOS dress that I really love, the asymmetric, like one shoulder bow situation. These look amazing with that dress so i think that's a really cute little look which i'm really excited to wear whether it's engagement party or i, I don't know i'm definitely going to be wearing it though because it's so gorgeous and these are so comfortable as well and i'm really happy about that because i think i mentioned this a little bit before christmas but for those of you that missed it i am designing my own wedding shoes which i'm so excited about and i'm actually designing my wedding shoes with charlotte mills which i'm screaming it's honestly just been the most fun process so far we still got quite a way to go but i want to bring you guys along on the journey and i don't know if i should tell you this i have not cleared this piece of information but i'm going to tell you anyway and we're just gonna hope for the best i'm designing my own wedding shoes with charlotte mills and we're actually also going to make them available for retail so you can also buy them so if you are a when, when will it be like later this year bride a 2024 bride like obviously if you're getting married in the next couple of months you've probably already got your shoes if you haven't got your shoes this pair are gorgeous and so comfortable and just unreal i could not recommend them more but if you're a late summer 2024 bride or autumn winter 2024 bride or a 2025 plus plus bride you might want to pause on the wedding shoe shopping and also maybe for your bridesmaids as well did I say too much? <laughs> Maybe. This is where I get in trouble for spilling secrets that I'm not allowed to spill. Yeah. I'm not sure I should be telling you that, but 
here we are here we are if you are on the market for wedding shoes keep those peepers peeled yeah so until i'm i'm done on that side of things i will be wearing these for all wedding related occasions because they are stunning stunning honestly i wish i'd designed these they're so nice secrets just some of my many secrets that i am harboring right now but anyway i'm about to go into peak summer mode i actually booked so many flights at the weekend i'm not okay i'm unwell for how much i just spent on flights we are also doing a little venue visit very excited for that and then it's gonna be my hen. I'm so excited. I'm really scared it's gonna go by too fast, if I'm honest. I need to get packing. I really need to sort my life out. I need to pack for Paris, and then I need to pack for our next trip. So I'm gonna be busy this afternoon. 2,000 years later. She did not pack for Paris, just as an FYI. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> It's a lot later, I'm done for the day and I have made it onto the mat, which I'm very happy about. And I have a little bit of time to do a workout. I'm prioritizing the workout. I need to do my nails so desperately. You can tell when I'm busy because you, the grow out, the grow out is real. That is how little spare time I currently have. But I'm being good, I'm prioritizing the workouts. I'm actually trying to decide what to do right now. So this is the Pilates class website by Jackie Kingswell. If you're not familiar with it, I am obsessed. This is my favorite kind of online Pilates provider. I really like the fact that they have different like weeks schedules and it literally like tells you what to do. We love. I can't decide what to do today. My brain is saying go at it, do a full body, like really intense. But then my actual body, I'm in my luteal phase, which is a disgusting phase of life. And look, Look at this, they have cycle syncing, which I just think is unreal. And then I'm like, oh, should I be sensible and do any of the 38 classes that are within the luteal phase? That would be sensible, wouldn't it? Also, how nice is this? They have like whole recipes. I'm obsessed. It's just such a nice platform. I really love it. Oh my God, I'm so hungry as well. I am in truly in the phase where I want to eat everything. Honestly, I can't for how hungry I am at the moment, how much, how much my mood has dipped. <laughs> like I can hold it together for a few hours to talk to you guys and then I'm like, I just wanna cry, I wanna eat everything. I don't wanna do anything cause I'm tired. So maybe we do just do the workout that's good for my body. <laughs> my mind and my body constantly at war. Anyway, this vlog is really long apparently. So <laughs> I am going to leave it here. You guys don't need to see me working out. I will show you me working out when I have some form of core fitness back in my body. But if you are one of those people that's not worked out in a long time and you needed some motivation, but also someone to do it with you, I am your girl. So if, if, you, wanna, if you wanna get back into working out, let's do it together. <laughs> Let's do Pilates together. Tell me how you're getting on. Let's all hold each other accountable because I really need that. But yeah, once I've got back into the swing of things a little bit more, I will probably show my workouts a little bit more again like I used to. But right now, you don't need to see me crying because it hurts to do a crunch. So yeah, that is where I'm gonna leave you. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and just enjoy catching up with me. I know it was a lot of tell and not a lot of show this week, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it all the same. I'm just getting back into the swing of things again. So do bear with me for the next couple of vlogs because I might not be at like peak greatness, you know? But yeah, love you all so much. Thank you for being here with me. Love you, bye.